Hey everyone, Michael here from Kozigi.com and today I'll be showing you how to install a custom tab on your Facebook fan page. It's going to be a quick tutorial, it's a pretty easy process. So to start out, just go to your Facebook personal profile page. This is mine, but uh, I'll have most of this blacked out for privacy reasons. So anyway, I'm going to assume you already created a uh, Facebook fan page and we're just going to go ahead and edit it. So let's go over to ads and pages and I set up a test page here called Koziggy. I'm just going to go visit that. And so this is what it looks like when you first create a page with Facebook. You have the basic wall info, photos, and discussion tabs. What we want to do is add a custom tab that we can call whatever we want. And let's say instead of having this information here, we can put whatever information here we would like to show to uh, prospective customers. So to do that, first what we'll do is go to edit page. And of course this is the control panel for your business page. Now what we want to do is add an application called Facebook FBML that will allow you to add this custom tab. And these are all the applications that come pre-packaged with your account. Um, we want to add a new custom one. So we're going to go to the bottom, browse more applications and so we can search apps up here in this box and we're gonna just type in FBML and hit enter and you'll see you have a lot of search results the one we want is called static FBML this was actually created specially by Facebook um, just for this use and application so just click on that and then we're going to add to my page and select what page you'd like and hit close and so now we have to go back to our fan page and do some customizing so I'll just type it in the search box up here which you guys may not be able to see on this screenshot video and we need to go back to edit page where we just were and now if you scroll down under applications you should see right here you'll have the FBML application settings and we don't want to actually click on that what we want to do is click edit this is where we're going to edit this tab and fill in these two boxes. The first box is your box title. That'll be what actually appears at the top of the tab. And right here in this white space in FBML, you can put whatever information you'd like. You can use HTML or FBML, which is a similar uh, coding language. I'm not going to get too into coding. All I'm going to demonstrate here is how to actually install this tab and just add a simple line of text. So first, let's just call this a new uh, custom tab. And in the uh, body, we'll just put this is a test of Facebook's FBML application. I'll just add a basic uh, HTML tag to this, a strong and all this does is make this text bold just so we can make sure that it is working and then when we're done we can hit save changes now again if you're an expert uh, coder or know someone who is you can really get creative with this and add all kinds of graphics and embedded applications for now we're just gonna stay basic so now that our changes are saved let's go back to our fan page view and I'll just click this link up here and you can see it still doesn't appear up here, that new tab we added. So to actually make that appear, we click on the plus and then scroll down here and you'll see a new custom tab. And that's what I named it. So I'm going to click on that. And here it is. It appears at the top. And of course, you can see my uh, basic one line of text. And it did appear bold. So we know that the uh, HTML code is indeed working. So that's kind of the quick and dirty of how to install a custom HTML tab on your Facebook page. So as you can imagine, there's all kinds of uses you can use this space for. Things like obtaining your customers' email addresses, graphics, embedding video players, pretty much anything you can imagine. I'm not going to go over it here. We just wanted to get the basic instructional tutorial of how to install this tab. If you're interested in anything in particular, just feel free to comment on uh, whatever page you're viewing this video from, and I'll do my best to uh, see what I can find for you. Thanks for checking out this tutorial, and be sure to visit www.koziggy.com for more helpful social media tutorials and creative ideas to help you with your social media campaigns.